Hi, my name is Doug Schneider and today I want to talk about the compact disc. Why I believe it should not make a comeback the way vinyl has and that when people say it's a better medium because it's physical for playing digital than say streaming or played from a hard drive, it's just not true. So to understand why there's nothing inherently special about the compact disc, I'm talking the optical disc itself and the encoding format on it, you have to understand what computer technology looked like in the early 1980s because that's when the CD came out. It was invented in 1979 and it made its public debut in 1982. Back then the compact disc ushered in digital playback for the home and it was a big deal. But it was also a big problem because to have digital playback for the home you needed a place to store the digital files and then we had things like floppy disks, not SD cards. We had hard drives, but 10 megabytes was a big, big deal and hugely unreliable and extraordinarily expensive. And for an average song, you needed say 30 megabytes. For an album, you needed hundreds of megabytes. As a result, they needed a storage mechanism that could hold a full album and it just didn't exist. As a result, when the compact disc came out, it came out part and parcel under the Red Book standard, not only as a file format in terms of the PCM encoding, 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz, but as an optical disc to store it on. So basically, the data and the disc were all specified, but the disc was just there because it was a storage mechanism that was required and it can hold up to 700 megabytes which at the time was revolutionary. That was enormous data and it was ideal for music playback in the home. But here's the big difference between digital representation of bits on an optical disc and the grooves of an LP. On an LP, the grooves and the vinyl are all one. They're together. You can't separate them. You can't have the grooves without the vinyl. It needs to be put together. And you might think it's kind of the same with a compact disc, but it's not. And as a former computer guy in the 80s, the moment I started thinking about, hmm, this is just digital storage here. And the moment we have another type of storage medium, those bits can be put there. There's nothing inherently special about the compact disc itself. It was a necessary storage medium for the time and actually a really good one. And when I say a good medium, I mean lots of storage, durable. You didn't have to worry about scratching it like an LP. You could make it unplayable, but you'd have to work really hard at it. For the time, it was a really good format. But the thing I want to stress is the optical disc itself is a storage medium. That's all. It's not like the grooves of an LP. It's a placeholder for the bits that represent the digital music. And that's all. But as a storage medium, like so many things in the digital world, its days were always numbered. And once the time came when we could put those bits in other places like on a hard drive, well, we didn't really need the optical disc anymore. Those bits could be transferred from elsewhere. And today we can get them basically through the air. Wi-Fi can support the bit rate needed to play CD resolution and much higher. Again, these are all just digital transmission methods. And this is simply a storage device as a hard drive is a storage device, a solid state drive is a storage device, a thumb drive, all these things. They're just placeholders for bits. That's it. But I have heard people say, well, my CD sounds better than say streaming or coming off a hard drive. So there must be something to this optical disc, this 
physical playback. Well, not so fast. There could be many other reasons we hear differences. One reason is often different masterings of recordings. This was a problem I had back when MQA was being demoed and it was very unclear if the same mastered files were being played back when MQA was being compared to other digital playback methods. In terms of jitter, I've heard people say, well, physical media is better in terms of jitter performance. And jitter refers to the timing accuracy of the signal. There's nothing inherently better about a laser reading an optical disc than data coming off a hard drive in terms of timing or errors either. This is not superior. There is a reason that error correction was built into transports. None of those things are true in terms of the integrity of the digital signal. We're talking technology from 40 years ago that worked really well. Don't think it's better than today. Look at your computer back when to what we have today. It's a world difference. And another reason could be that the system they're say streaming from or playing computer files from is quite a bit different than the CD player system and that could attribute to why they're hearing a difference or there could be this, a lot like the LP. There's a certain fun and ritual for some people of playing physical media, the tangibility, looking at the disc, seeing the artist's name and the tracks kind of gives you a warm fuzzy feeling that feels good that you're playing an album. and Let's say two things sound the same. Let's also not pretend we can't kid ourselves. That nice feeling we get from playing physical media could convince us that it actually sounds better when in fact it sounds the same. That said, you might think this is some negative rant about the compact disc and nothing could be further from the truth. I have for years praised the compact disc for its longevity. Think about what computer systems looked like in 1982 versus today. Video, phones, the internet today. It wasn't even thinkable back then. And for the compact disc to still be a viable format, and it is viable, 40 years later is a remarkable testament to how advanced this was when it came out. But let's not, as audio enthusiasts, who are serious about sound, give it magical properties it really doesn't have. It was a product of its time, remarkable for its time, but let's leave it at that. It really doesn't need to be praised higher and it doesn't need a resurgence. Great format, but we've moved on. Now you know my thoughts. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and see you soon.